The next day brought me to another small settlement, a little collection of stilted homes at the edge of the river. I was amazed to see that out here in the middle of nowhere, this modest jungle house had a television satellite dish mounted next to it. By stepping away just a few feet from the stilted house, I once again entered the rainforest with its curious inhabitants waiting there to amaze me, to poison me perhaps, or devour me if I should take a nasty fall in the foliage. Here, a few leaf cutter ants, and my guide, Mr. De Souza, ah. making a convincing effort to communicate ah. with a huge spider in this tree. And spiders grow to an enormous and disturbing size here in the Amazon. Tarantulas and about 3,600 other species of spiders are waiting to greet you here in the forest. 3,600 kinds of spiders. That's just wonderful. So you walk through the jungle, you have to be very careful of your footing. You have to be careful where you'll put your hands. If you put your hands on a tree trunk or a vine, you might get some kind of spines in your hand. You might get ants jumping on you, defending the tree or the vine. So you gotta be very careful. There's also quite a few mosquitoes, so you've gotta keep, keep swatting at those as well as you walk through here. Yeah, I'm kind of fearing the worst here. The, uh, the light's really going down fast here in the jungle and I, I don't even know where the rest of the group is. So I've got to start looking around here for uh, some place to kind of try to make a bed of some kind here in the foliage. i to gather up some sort of wood to try to burn or, or to make something that heat up some, some food or I don't know, I'm a little bit concerned about this. I don't really have the supplies here to, to make it here. The mosquitoes are coming on strong. Uh, this might be one of the last recordings I'm gonna make here. Okay, okay, perhaps I was being a little melodramatic. I did in fact manage to find and rejoin my fellow travelers and then make my way back to the very comfortable decks of my riverboat Tucano.